this will be equation number one uh, 5x minus 3 and the domain is given we need to discuss uh, first uh, draw the mapping diagram and then the function we want decide 1 to 1 or many to 1 find the range of the function so first of all mapping this is x this is 5x minus 3 x values they have clearly mentioned that the domain not other 9 10 or 11 no real numbers not the real numbers clearly mentioned that they have only 3 4 5 6 then uh, the range domain mean uh, all possible possible inputs now in here it is restricted domain so 3 4 5 6 and uh, when you put these elements so all possible outputs so when we put x equal 3 Pi times 3 minus 3, 15 minus 3, that is 12. And uh, 5 times 4, 20, 20 minus 3, 17. This is 25, 5 times 5 minus 3, 22. 5 times 6, 30 minus 3, 27. So 3 goes to 12, 4 goes to 17, 5 goes to 27. 6 goes to uh, 22 and 6 goes to 27. So we can see that clearly one element, one output, one input, one output. So this is 1 to 1. And range, what is the range? Uh, range is going to be it is also a set 12, 17, 22, 27. What is this value? This value is y value. y x minus 3 and this is x. So also you refer as fx. So x and you can tell if instead of y x minus 3 this is fx. Part B, x equal x square minus 3 and the domain is given. Now we want to decide uh, 1 to 1 or many to 1 and uh, the range. So first of all we have to find the range. Uh, if we don't draw a graph, uh, g minus 3, g minus 2 g minus 1, g 0, g 1, g 2, g 3. I can't put the weight symbol yet because so what is g minus 3? We'll find minus 3 square minus 3. That is going to be 9 minus 3. That is 6. So this value is 6. So g minus 2 uh, minus 2 is square 4 minus 3 uh, 1 and minus 1 square 1 minus 3 that is going to be minus 2 if it is 0 0 is square minus 3 this is minus 3 right. and g1 is going to be again it should be matched with this one minus 2 1 square minus 3 and g2 match with this one that is 1 and g3 should be match with 6 now i can see that 2 6 1 1 and uh, minus 2 2 and 1 minus 3 so now i need to write as a set so then i can't write 2 6 only okay i will start with the small one so minus 3 is small, 
then minus 2 minus 2 I can only write for a set 1 and this is 1 and this is 6 so this is the range as a mapping minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so we have minus 3 minus 2 1 6 so minus 3 go to 6 3 also go to 6 minus 2 and 2 go to 1 and minus 1 go to minus 2 and 0 to minus 3 I draw different way as well now it is very clear minus 3 and 3 together and minus 2 and 2 together and so this is the mapping is many to 1 so we, this is 1 to 1 this is many to 1 so overall this is going to be many to 1 so if we want you can write uh, uh, 0 plus 0 and minus 0 which is not relevant um, to make many to 1 but overall this is uh, this is many to 1 and 3 the range going to be uh, minus 2 so this should be minus 3 um, minus 3 minus 2 1 and 6 this is part C and when we finish part C I will discuss another one The domain is going to be minus 1, 0, 1 and I will add one more 4 over 3 so you can see that this is a function but this is not now domain is given so we will find the range value first to get an idea first um, we want to find h minus 1 then h0 and h1 so h minus 1 equals 7 4 minus uh, 3 minus 1 that is going to be 7 over 7 that is 1 so this is 1 and then h0 is 7 4 minus 3 times 0 that is 1 over sorry, 7 over 4 so this is 7 over 4 and h1 4 times 3 1 that is uh, 7 over 1 which is 7 so this is 7 now there is no repeat number so range is going to be 1 7 over 4 and 7 so mapping is uh, it is clear that mapping this is x and this is uh, dx minus 1 goes to 1 uh, 0 goes to 7 over 4 and uh, 1 goes to 7 so one element one input one output exactly uh, one output for each element each input so this is 1 to 1 and this is a function and the range is going to be this one so this is the sum we already discussed and I am going to do extension add another value 7 uh, 4 over 3 
now we already found out these three values then what will happen uh, uh, G h4 over 3 we'll find now h4 over 3 is 7 4 minus 3 times 4 over 3 3 to 3 cancel out 1 minus 4 minus 4 which is 1 over 0 which is infinity infinity is not the answer so if you put 4 over 3 and there is no output for 4 over 3 if you put 4 over 3 there is no output so then it's violate the definition of uh, function which is every input have a uh, unique output so 4 over 3 doesn't have uh, any output hence uh, this is not a function this is not a function so this type of graph domain can control the uh, mapping to become a function or not but if you consider y equal x graph y equal x so y equal mx plus c we'll stand with the more general version so domain cannot control that because if you put any x value you always get y so domain can't control but in this graph in, in this mapping domain can control uh, to mapping become whether a function or not Question number two, part A. So we want to check whether those are one to one, many to one, and then are they function or not. Um, so we'll pick up one x value. And let's go to the graph. So we'll pick up x1. And you can see that we have y1. And if you select another one, x2 value. So and you can see y2 i name as y2 x2 y2 x1 y1 so you can see that by observation each x value you can find a y value don't assume like this no x3 okay there is no there is no y3 for this one why there is no y4 x y3 for this one because we didn't extend this one when the graph is extended yeah you may get x3 somewhere here y3 sorry so by observation you can see that uh, or one x value you get one y value so this is going to be uh, one to one if it is one to one a mapping if it is one to one then it is a function so you have to write uh, one to one why each of x is uh, mapped to a single value of y you have to write the reason so hence this is a function so part b is very clear that for each x value x equal let's say 4 x equal 3 uh, x equal 2 this is y axis which is x equal 0 and uh, uh, x equal minus 1 minus 3 you can see that only one cut you can see one crosses so then function is one to one so one to one write the reason uh, for each x value each x value of x is mapped to single y value and hence this is a function
R3, we'll take one where x value, so x equal 3. So I will draw that line, x equal 3 line. So we have two intersection point. Two intersection point mean for one x value, it means there are two y values. So this is 3, if I took this is fx, this is f3, and this is also 3f3. So this value is going to be, this f3 is different from this f3. So this is a positive value, this is a negative value. So for example, if this is 3, let's say minus 3a, this is going to be 3 minus a. So one x value, two y values, a and minus a. So this is one to many. This all the places one to many and only this place one to one. And if you consider here one to no. But in general sense the question is made not to look at this area. So the expecting domain is from here to here with the sense and uh, out of that they don't uh, consider one to one and we have uh, enough examples to show that this is one to many and if we get any element that which generate one to many then this mapping is no more a function. So this is one to many, hence this is not a function. Why? Because one element of x is uh, mapping to, is mapped to two elements for some x values. Why I said for some x values? Because for this, this x value, it is only one. And if you consider really this side, so there is no. Part D, it is crystal clear that when we draw one x line, so we have two intersection points, it means two values. So one x, two y's. So this is uh, one to many. So answer is this is not a function. So you want a re reason one element of uh, x is mapped to two element of y for some x values. Or you can uh, express in differently this one. They assume the radius is a, then according to here, this is positive way, this is negative way. So we can divide this number line into three areas. Uh, x less than minus a and uh, x greater than a and uh, x equal to minus a and x equal to plus a so that's a point basically and uh, x minus a this area greater than less than positive way so three area now when you consider this area the outside area uh, one x value can write that like this uh, from this area to this area do not get mapped to a value of y so this is enough to uh, this function not to this map is not to become a 
function and x equal minus a and x equal a actually it has 1 to 1 it is 1 to 1 1 element of x to 1 element of y and uh, after that in between this area one element of x get mapped to two element of y one element of x like uh, minus any number between minus a to a so though any element if you pick up uh, you have two y elements you have two elements of y in here it doesn't matter it is one to one but if there is uh, any y uh, and it's part c when you look at it, it is uh, very clear that uh, this one is going to be asymptotic uh, let me take this is uh, x equal a line so this is a um, this graph fx so fx is a function fx is not a function so you can make it to fx is function no fx is not a function uh, by deciding the domain if we want to make this choice is a function so you want to write that domain is x is a element of real numbers all x but x is not equal to a because we know that for x equal a there is no y value and f is not a function so if you want to make this is not a function then you have to domain you have to write x is a element of r x is a uh, all the values belongs to x axis then a also include when you put a the there is no y value as a result uh, this is not a function so you can make this function to the way you want you can make this mapping uh, as a function no not by deciding the domain if you exclude a it is a function if you include a it is not a function or you can write uh, 1 to 1 for except it's equal a hence this is a function as each x value has a y value or you can make a function not a function this is not a function as fx the function fx is not defined for x equal a or don't write not define uh, or you can write there is no y value for x equal a something like that this is also right no version not defined this is clear that uh, this is uh, many to one if you take one y value one value let's say y equal four you have two x values for it um, let's say a and this one is minus a 
when it is x equal a also you will get for x equal minus a also you will get this is fx fx this is a function this is uh, many to one and many to one yes this is a function and you have to write the reason 